Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another event live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov. This time, it's the ZTO No Limit Hold'em main event. We had the 10K PLO yesterday till 5 in the morning, 6 a.m. at King's, 5 a.m. Irish UK time. Found another 10K PLO camp the day before. We've got a little break here. We're back to two cards. Are my eyes deceiving me? Two cards, in cards instead of four this evening. This was a 230 euro buy in. No problem, Bird. You take your time updating the bot. Thank you very much for your help. 30 players remaining here. Cards are in the air. All players guaranteed a minimum. Of 914 euros facing the first prize. 30,600 euro. First technique third will all get a ticket to the 10k. World Series of Oak Corp main event later on this year. My name is Action Man Dan, and we have an action packed night ahead for us because we are going to finish this tournament. Tonight, small blind is 50k. Get the action started. 100k is the big blind with 100k running big blind. Anti, as usual, I tell you at the start, we are on all the usual so social media platforms Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. We've got a TikTok channel, King's Resort official on there. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, it's all in and call Turkey going all in with the eight four of spades getting called by Peter's ace queen. Turkey is the one flopping best. Looks like he went for the shove from the small Peter, obviously, with a calling hand in the big. Flop is 8, 7, 6. Turn is the 9 of spades. It's going to take a little moment or two to adjust to not calling a PLO. Situation with four cards with each player. We're going back to two. Big double up there for Turkey. Peter takes a hit. Now playing 11 big blinds. Just under 12. Actually, M Jello is in the house. Says good evening, Tutti. Good evening, M Jello. Six hundred and ninety-six entries in this one, generating a sexy little prize pool. All players guaranteed a minimum of four hundred euro coming in today too. This, I predict, will be some rapid action if we're going to finish this tonight. So we have been spoiled for action this weekend. We started on Friday, crowned another champion in the 10K Diamond. PLO High Roller. Then... We had Elki in the building. We played a nine-man sit-and-go. Then we had Elki play three heads-up battles against one of the Polish fellas that was there in the sit-and-go. Then yesterday, we had another PLO, the Big Rap Platinum Edition. Very sweet one, that. At 5 o'clock in the morning. So 6 a.m. it was. It was a late one. Apocalypse is in the house, says, good evening, boys and girls. Good evening, Apocalypse. What you see on your screen is correct. We've got two cards instead of four for today. So we're going to have more PLO action tomorrow, I would imagine. We'll be crowning the champion of the main event. The PLO big wrap tomorrow. And with 30 players remaining, we are going to play this one out tonight. Savaris all in for 6.40. Pocket says, thought we were doing day two of the main event tonight. Well, this way, we get an extra tournament in. You get to see the No Limit Hold'em ZTO edition. The main event, 230 euro buy-in. 
Nearly 700 entries in this one. Really nice one for 230 quid. The chance to win 30,600 euro and a 10 grand ticket. So over 40 G's, baby. Pockliff says so Dan Fiji bet Australia Jesus that's a massive win for Fiji isn't it what were the other results you think I would have watched the rugby I had all day I was just recuperating after the mammoth stream last night we didn't start now until late enough it has to be said but it was a late one the heads up battle going on for many many a level Turkey taking down the blinds and antis. I've seen South Africa beat Romania 76 nil yet. Australia 22 15, and so far England's 13. Japan 12 with 27 minutes left. Ooh, that's a spicy one. England don't want to lose that game. was Philip Lovric who took down the big rap Platinum 10k PLO high roller last night by the way if anyone was wondering he had an epic heads up battle with Veselin Karaka took off Mr. Cook going to raise to 385 from under the gun plus one with ace queen off suit. And Attila Horvat in the big with ace 10 of hearts. Faced with nearly a 4x open here. Probably just wants to put this one in the bin.
Donatella is going to call. King 9-5 is the flop and Horvat going to have to this is the problem if we miss with our ace 10 here we've put in a considerable portion of our stack more than 25% in the middle there Varus with jacks on the button here. Six and a half bigs. Hockham says, as if England have have just been given that try, well, most late knock on in history. Did they get it? Get another try to secure the game, then. Jack's getting it through there, folks. He adds 250k to his stack. Now, Attila with a golden opportunity to jam from the button there with 9-8 suited. Off the 10 bigs, decides to let it go.
Varus all in from the hijack for nine bigs with pocket fives and Attila with the decision here with ace nine of clubs from the cutoff. Attila really wants to be going all in there. Good opportunity to eliminate a player. It is nearly for all of his stack, but ace nine going to be ahead of the range from the hijack considerable portion of the time. Hold all the way around to the button and Mr. Cook playing 34 big blinds to start the hand is going to use 4.25 bigs. Way too big of a raise here for Mr. Cook. He's forcing out hands like Ace Knight. We want to get action from type of holdings. Page on blooming from 28 pace to 27 pace from 914 euro to 1049 euro. <laughs> and Ali. Bucket sevens in the hijack, 23 bigs.
Mr. Cook calling with the fours. Flop could be king six deuce. Ali checking just one over card to his pocket sevens. Bit of 4.30 from Cook. Ali wants to see the turn card. No, he's not. He's going to raise to 900k. This is going to look really strong from Ali. Getting additional value here from Mr. Cook. I like this from Ali. I expected to see him just call. Shows a seven, mucks. Pay jump has been reached, 27 remaining now. All players guaranteed 1,049 euro. And look at this, Ali raising to 225 with Queen Jack off suit. And Mr. Cook with aces in the hijack. Tree betting to five hundred and thirty thousand. Small blind out of the way, big blind out of the way, and the action is back to Ali, 305,000 to call. We prefer to call here if we were suited. It is only 305,000 into a pot of a million. We're getting good initial odds.
This could spell disaster for Ali because he's flopped top pair. 1.3 million already in the middle. And for Cook, he doesn't need to bet too big here. Even betting like 350, 400 is enough. Ali bets 640k. We're called 640k. This stack to pot ratio is now one to one, and that card might save Ali from losing any more tips. The spade completes the flush. It's also an ace. And Cook is just going to move all in. He could have went for a smaller bet here if he wanted, but he's protecting his hand in a way. I don't think he needs to protect with a set of aces. I would have preferred a smaller sizing set up a river jam. Stack to pot ratio is less than one to one, so it's fine to just jam. It might honestly look too strong to make a smaller bet. Easy for me to say when I can see he has a set of aces in Ali. What a difficult decision now for his tournament life. But he will be left with two bigs.
I didn't like the way Ali put his chips together in two piles there, like as if he was going to push them forward to call, trying to get some additional information from his opponent that looked like. He's been in the tank for a while now. It is a difficult decision for Ali. I don't think he will call. I think he's just posturing. He just loses the too many hands in a tree bear pot like this. Sonk the Bonk is on the same wavelength. Says, is he angle shooting or what? I don't know if he's angle shooting, but I think he was him and Han. I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think he knew what he wanted to do there. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Nice pick up for the set of aces nonetheless. With no mind to the call. I just don't think he's ever calling there on the turn. It would be a hero call. It's not like we haven't seen calls like that, but everything just indicating he wants he was gonna let his hand go eventually. Seeing some very tight play here. A6, the cut off a snap fall, says NJ. Players won't have played for this kind of money before. It is a 230 euro buy in. We're seeing some extra big sizings being used, and you're going to see some peculiar play. It's just the way it is. Players have got this far and they're not willing to gamble too frivolously. And Osman. Taking that one down with the Ace King. Also, all the sickos that are in the building for the PLO are going to be playing the PLO main. So, although the 230 buy in is going to be quite soft anyway, a lot of recreationals, not too many professionals. It would be even softer considering how much other action is available under one roof. Poker extravaganza here at the King's Resort Live from Rosvedov this weekend. If you're just tuning in, you are currently watching the Holden and Holden Big Rap final day.
And another big fold there from the King Nine. Just a great opportunity to be stealing the blinds and antis. Every time a player can successfully steal the blinds and antis off a sub, 10 big blind stack, you were more than 25%. Adding more than 25 to 30% to your stack, which is just a massive pickup. You do that a couple of times, you've essentially doubled up without showdown. Uh, Mr. Cook raising the 500k five times the big blind and Ali on the flop here it looks like he's put in a considerable portion of his stack and out flopping the king queen of Mr. Cook Like he's putting in 25% of his stack pre, hoping to hit a flop, and he has hit a flop. Mr. Cook with a lot of equity here. Got a straight draw, two overs, but it is Ali with top pair and open ender. Tony Berlin asked how many players left in the tournament. 26 players, you can see in the top right hand corner of your screen, remaining from 696 entries. And this has gone all in on the turn and call. And for Ali, he's got 81% equity to have just shy of 40 big blinds. River is the jack of clubs, giving Ali the worst hand on the river getting sucked out by Mr. Cook, although Mr. Cook did have the best hand going in pre. That's a good lesson to be learned there, to not be calling a quarter of your chips in the small with just 10-8 suited from such a large open, such a massive sizing. 5x. He's now playing 40 bigs.
And Osman getting a walk with the King Nine off suit. Pulled all the way around to the button, Mr. Cook with Queen Jack off suit is now playing 53 big blinds. It says he's 6.4 million, sorry, he's got more, so he's got closer to 64 bigs. So don't mind those graphics, you can see he's got stacks upon stacks, 25 remaining out. The pay jump is looming from 24th place to 23rd place. The difference between 1,049 euro and 1,208 euro. Martin raising the 300k under the gun here with Ace Eight of Hearts. Blinds have gone up, by the way, 60k is a small and 120k is a big blind with 120k running big blind and to get 60, 120, 120. Thank 
So Usman all in from the cutoff. And Mr. Cook, the initial opener. Just waiting for the graphics to catch up there. So there we have it, folks. Mr. Cook, he didn't raise to 3 million. It's just a 320k or 340k raise. Usman is all in from the cutoff with 1.69 million total and Martin here in the big blind. Uh, Mr. Cook will let it go. Osman Hussein taking it down. Cockle says definitely going back to how we did it the last couple of days, I think. Uh, not sure what you are refer referencing there. Could be the English rugby team. Could be next year's WrestleMania. Could be cricket. Maybe <laughs> just the poker. Oh, of course you're on about. Yeah, your lovely little pinouts for the payouts. Yeah, it, it is just. It's just easier. You do such a fantastic job there with the, the payouts and the night bot. That's your thing, lads. You you do what do it whatever way you want. But I did think it was cool the way it was pinned to the top. Martin raising 300k from the small. If he's going to make a 300k, I don't know why he just doesn't just move all in. Attila is going to call with 10 8 for clubs. Like he just puts in half the stack there. says England beat Japan 34-12 even got the bonus point the jammiest win he's ever seen in rugby Ooh, must have been bad
And Attila all in for 375 from the small blind. Mr. Cook not even going to call with the four deuce off suit. And we are one elimination away from a redraw, by the way, folks. There are 25 players remaining, so one more elimination. We will go on a break and come back with three tables of eight. Till it gets it true. The ace king of spades. Attila Horvath, ace king, off suit once more. Seven bigs in the hijack, all in the fella. No other move to be made here.
and Peter is going to call in the big blind. So 1.1 million in the middle here total. Peter all in for his last four big blinds at ace eight off suit. Six five five is the flop. Burn is a seven. River is a six, chop it up boys. <laughs> Sit back down, Peter. Pull all the way around to the cutoff, and Usman going to make it 3.25 with the A7 off suit. Takes down the blinds and antis. Hi Jack for Usman. A6 off suit, 20 bigs. Raise the 325.
everyone folds. Pamu is in the house. Hello, Pamu. So we've got action here, folks. This will be the last hand before the break as well. You can see in the top right-hand corner of your screen, 24 players remaining now. Peter all in for his last half a mil with pocket aces. Turkey raising to 325. Turkey calling with the pocket sixes, gets the bad news. 1.3 million in the middle. Peter, the at-risk player with pocket aces. That's a good start for the aces. Nine, nine, seven. No help in it for Turkey. Turkey needing a six for some running straight cards. Turn is the jack of clubs. River is the eight of clubs and Peter will double up. Okay, folks, that's going to bring us to our first break. We are going to go and do a redraw and come back with three tables of eight inside of 20 minutes. So I will see you all in a few moments. We are going to play down to a winner tonight in the ZTO 230 euro main event. No limit hold them this time. Back to the PLO tomorrow. See you all in a few moments. You need the four of spades. Four of spades, yeah. Like system which is somewhat sustainable would be like high rake for high volume players who does uh, don't select. Your wife is Jewish? So kids Jewish too, so does the mom. Older daughter speaks pretty good Hebrew. Young one doesn't speak. 
Oh, so you, uh, so they have a family in Israel? Yeah, Ma, their grandma lives there, yeah. And all the cousins and, uh, yeah, big family. Kind of. You ever been? Yeah, two times. But your kids speak no Finnish, right? Hebrew, yeah. French, those are fluent, and then it's uh, Spanish and Italian. That is pretty good, Spanish and Italian. Easy because it's people speak a lot of Italian and in uh, in in Monaco. And I used to go to Italy to horse ride, and coach would speak only Italian. I'm sure I teach in my kids Russian, but it's just. When your spouse doesn't speak the same language, it's just not gonna work. Yeah, it's it comes down to how much can you spend time with them, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't do that. I just simply couldn't do it. I was in the same boat. Uh, yeah. You would like have to hire a nanny who would speak the language and teach. That would be the that would be the way to do it. Twenty-three six is. How much is it? 94, 4 plus that. How many, so many how people speak around the world, but in Finland, how much uh, is 175 language if you don't live there. I mean, it's never going to be a problem speaking just another language. Uh, Additional language is always yeah. good, right? Yeah, it's good, but uh, it's still from the practical uh, point of view. Uh, you can still choose it, from some major languages are just, we are instead of something that we you have, have a pretty big pot. Practical use, like if you win the first or me, we are we are running twice. Even okay, okay, we can do it like this. But okay, you go for you go twice for what time? No, no. But if we, one of us win the first, okay. <laughs> oh no. Go, go, play. There's a stop set. Rap it, you can do. You need the four of spades. Four of spades, yep. Nine, seven, four. Nine, six. Seven. Four or five. Nine, seven, four. You win for the moment. Yeah, win for the moment, yeah. So what do you want? No spades. You need big or small cards. Huh? Big or small. No pairs. Yeah. How much is it? Wow. It's a big pot. We're just observers. Yeah. Huh? We're just observers. Yeah. <laughs> Observing. But didn't you agree to real? I haven't played any. No. I'm just chilling no. over here. No, he went. He went. He went. No side. Yeah. yeah. One time, no side. Yeah, uh, later then we see one. You guys want to sort it out between you after this time? You're killing me. You come in, you kill me. You have big chips behind you, though. What was your expectations? A win. I mean, that's what we play. A win. What do you want? Look back. Okay, sorry. Tony, Tony, why don't you learn smile when you pay? Yeah. You should learn smile while paying. <laughs> Show the river. Thank you, thank you. Show the river. Yeah, we can see the river. Yeah. Can you thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's too blue. You're good. Thank you, thank you, the thank you. Blue. One more, please. You need chips, you need chips. I need chips, the yeah, for oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna push a win against you this time, yeah. If so I push, in. if I push, it's now, now, now. He will be in. Hey, it in. And we're gonna wait for Leon. Yeah, you cannot mark his card, huh? Yeah, don't mark his card. Yeah, don't right. mark his card. Don't yeah. mark his card. <laughs> I wasn't doing Just now they go, want to mark his card. Good idea. He said no. Leon. He's stupid. Leon, you play first? He won again. <laughs> Apparently, he won 
Да Тони нету, куда, куда ты бежишь? Нету этого. Тони уже там, Тони. А, он уже там. Тони, what's up? Thank you, Тони, thank you, Тони. Do what, Charles? You have big chest behind or you What was your expectations? To win, I mean, that's what we fight. A win? But you want to go back. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Tony, Tony, why don't you learn smile when you pain? Yeah. You should learn smile while pain. He's <laughs> 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 trolling. I, I said you should learn smile while pain. He's too young. Too young. <laughs> yeah, he's like uh, he's like uh, 40 days younger than me. That's why he don't understand that. 40 days. <laughs>
All right, folks, we're back. We've got a new lineup with 24 players remaining now from a starting entry field size. 696 players. If you're just tuning in, you're watching the ZTO No Limit Hold'em Big Rap final day. Yes, that's right. This will finish in the early hours of the morning, I would imagine. Lions are still 60k, 120k, 120k. First prize in this event is 30,600 euro. First, second, and third will all receive a 10,000 euro World Series of Poker Europe main event ticket for later on this year. So it is all to play for here, live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov for a 230 euro buy-in. Golden opportunity for these players to win. Serious sum of cash. 200,000 euro was the guarantee. Igor, Brito, Apocalypse, we have found the guy who I was wondering about yesterday, there he is, Igor, Brito, there was massive support coming in for him a few times on this channel, he's back in action, that was one of the guys I was on about, there was another dude as well who was drunk, who was getting loads of support in the chat. But Igor Brito was the name that was skipping me yesterday and I am delighted to have finally figured that one out because it was wrecking my head. Good man, Igor. Always like watching Igor play these many scores at this resort to his name. Just check out his hand and mob if you don't believe me. Trips from here against Maria. Great to see women in this event. In any event at the King's Resort going deep. Brilliant for the game. Game needs more women. I think we've seen Maria here before, if I remember correctly. Popcliffe says he genuinely doesn't remember Igor Brito. Um, I find that hard to believe, but it's impossible to keep up with all the names you know Dunbar's number says that we only have the capacity to remember about 150 names and after that point sure you'd have 150 people in your own personal life between families friends and significant others friends and childhood friends etc let alone trying to remember every name on a rugby team or all the tennis players in the US Open let alone trying to remember all the players that come in and out these doors week in, week out. But we do our best. Maria is going to call a second barrel here. One and a half million in the middle. Things are getting a bit serious as we hit the river. River is the eight of hearts. Don't know how much I love Maria's call on the turn. She does have a diamond, does have a draw, but not many good rivers for her hand. And if I'm being honest, she should have rejam pre, especially against a hijack open. So much money out there up for grabs to rejam. getting good odds to call here on the river but her hand is just simply not good enough there is two million in the pot it is only 425 to call i like this sizing from igor trying to get called by a 10 or a jack little does he know maria has pocket nines this is why maria could have avoided all of this by just rejamming pre that was definitely the superior play especially from the small blind facing a hijack open <gasps> Uh, 
Anna Maria won't be happy with that. You can see how frustrated she looks. We've got a lot of different nationalities at this feature table. Denmark, Romania, Ukraine, Turkey, Poland, Lithuania, Portugal and Slovakia. Buckley says, I actually came across a name from 10 years ago yesterday. Waiting reply, remembered them immediately. Average stack is 2.2 million. I'm not sure what's going on here. Just a slight pause in the action, it looks like. I don't know what's going on here, folks, but we will have the action resuming momentarily.
Yildirim, who populates here in the foot of Yufok Yildirim. Raises the 255k. And <laughs> I need a commentator for these kind of things, Apocalypse. He says, thought you were losing your mind there, Dan. I lost my mind a long, long time ago. But hey, if you want action on this channel, you're going to have to have a little bit of madness. You don't want a boring commentator, do you, folks? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Scooter got to check with Ted Nine of Clubs for having called pre. I think it was a bit ambitious to call, but if you're going to call, not the worst hand here with a 10 9 suited. Turkey going to come along in the big blind. Jack 6 deuce. I expect to see fireworks in this one, uh, Apocalypse, because players know that this has to end tonight. And it's not the German poker days, so the average stack is definitely more so than before, I'd say. Going to get more turbo s. Okay, yeah, I think with that name, we're going to have to pick a first or a second name. We're going to go with Hilterim. Oh, dear. Roman all in from the button. Turkey calling him off in the small blind. All in and call. 2.6 million in the middle. Jack 10 4 is the flop. Top pair for Roman, second pair for Turkey. Turn is the king of diamonds. Two pair now for Roman. Turkey needed help on the river, but it doesn't arrive. He has been eliminated in 24th place.
their totem ass who won the PLO last night. It was an epic heads up battle that went on for several hours, and in the end, it was Philip Lovrick beating Veselin heads up for the title and 261,000 euro. It was about 6 a.m. at the King's Resort when they got to crown a champion. was asked what was my commentary like at that time oh and some guy won yeah I can go to bed um, I'll tell you now about an hour before it was 7 million chips to 2 million chips and it could have all been over in one hand and there was a double up and then it spun back again and then there was another break then they got back and they got even again and then there was another break and then I was like it was fine and hard because it was heads up PLO and these guys are absolute beasts. So there are certain hands I, I, don't know, I don't know whether they were playing optimally or not or wanted to get it finished. Uh, they both look quite fresh. I've had heads up battles that I've commentated on before where it's very clear the players want to just finish it. They were fighting tooth and nail for every chip and every pot. It was a really good match. Bear Totem tuned in for the last couple of hours. I think he has gone then for the last hour or so. Oh, I'm betting 255k here with the ace seven of diamonds. Yes, we didn't have anyone talking in the chat at that hour apocalypse, so it's hard to not feel like you're talking to a wall sometimes or just talking to the screen. A couple of times I was trying to, trying to make sure I wasn't muted which can happen from time to time. I'm only human after all. Be more of a dancer than a singer now. Apologies. Actually, no, I can't dance. I'll have to get Apocalypse to give me some lessons. If you make a ring and put on boxing gloves, though, I'll dance. Action man, Dan. Jab, double jab, booster. 550 is the bet here from Igor on the turn jack 10 for 10 Goes call, gets a river, that is the ace of clubs. Oh, 
And now Igor looks like he's giving up. And for Roman, just deciding how much value can be extracted or does he just want to check? Hans Solo is in the house. Lohan Solo. Roman going to bet 450k. And Igor just going to be forced to let this one go. Only two remaining now. All guaranteed a minimum of 1,208 euro. Pockets asks, what would you like to learn? You can do ballroom dances, Argentine tango and Latin. I would like to learn how to play 10K PLO high roller events after being flown in by helicopter dressed to the nines in King's Clobber merchandise. If you want to find out additional information about the resort itself or buy yourself some merchandise, head over to the website www.thingsresort.com. I'm 265 pounds apocalypse, so I don't know how much I'd be dancing. I won't give up my day job or forward slash nighttime job where would I find time to go learn to dance maybe midweek to get some flights dancing would be no good to me for all the time I spend in this chair but if I ever do get in a situation where I'm going to elope and I need to learn how to dance I know who to call I'll send out the apocalypse signal into the sky Uh, Matthias, Matthias, with the Queen Jack in the hijack, 13 bigs, he's going to bump it up, blinds have just gone up, 80k, 160, 160, that's 80k for the small blind, 160k for the big blind with 160k running big blind ante. Twenty-one players remaining now. Twenty-one 
pay jump incoming from 21st to 20th from 1208 euro to 1367 euro Is calling 330k Roman the original opener pocket nines. Yildrum in the small. King eight of hearts. Another elimination has taken place, so the page jump has been reached. You can see in the top right hand corner of your screen, 20 players remaining now. They are going to drop like flies in this tournament because the average stack is not going to be too big. Structures are amazing at Kings, but this has to end tonight. Set for Roman here, and Mateus. With 15% equity here on the turn, but he probably thinks that's a brilliant card. He now has top pair and an open ender. There's three diamonds on board, so maybe it will slow it down a little bit. Roman is gonna check his option, and now Mateus just deciding how much to bet. And I think if we are Roman, we just check jam. There's going to be a lot of bad rivers. And stack to pot ratio is one to one. Already 2.2 million in there. Mateus only has 1.4 million behind. Roman is just going to call for 625. River is a 10 of spades bearing the board. Now Matthias just wants to check. This is what I'm saying. Roman could have got all the chips on the turn here. There's just so many bad rivers that kill his action with a set also. Just think the superior play is the check jam on the turn. Matthias survives with eight big blinds and 19 players remaining now.
and Ildrum all in from the button with ace nine. Rhea all in from the button with pocket trees. I thought that was a very tight fold from the pocket fours also. Roman calling from the small. 18 players remaining now. Queen Jack Deuce is the flop. Two and a half million in the middle up for grabs. Burn is the six of clubs. Roman picking up additional equity maria still holding with her pocket trees but needs to dodge a lot of outs on this river river is the seven the pocket trees somehow getting there big moment there for maria breathes a sigh of relief and will double up to over 20 big blinds or not quite 20 big blinds big blind is now 160. He's playing two and a half million going forward nonetheless Martin picking up the Kings of Kings, raising to 450. Igor in the big blind with Jack Eight of Clubs.
Won't like that ace on the flop. 1.14 million as we see the turn. Turn is the deuce of diamonds. Martin now with enough flush draw also. And Igor going to call the tiny bet at 250. There is the five of diamonds. Martin now gets there with the flush and decides to check back with the nut flush here. Um, he's got the nut. I, I don't think he thought he had the king of diamonds. Oh dear. He can get in trouble for things like that, you know. Clearly, <laughs> didn't know what he was doing. He could have at least looked back to see if he had a diamond. Must have thought he had a heart. Understandable. The pressure is getting the people out there. 230 euro buy him with the opportunity to pay for over 40,000 euro, including a 10 grand ticket. It's a tough one. It's been a long day for them. It's past midnight. And championship rounds, they are less than 10 eliminations away from possibly the biggest final table of their life. But he's all in from the cutoff, and it's bad timing because for Martin also, Martin has three bets to two million, and Yildirim with aces in the big blind. Dick Henry says that day one was nine-handed, but we came back there a minute ago with three tables of eight. We are now in a situation where we could have another elimination and we'll be one elimination away from going on a break for another redraw up is king a deuce and that is an amazing flop for the aces the children is the nine of hearts. Matthias has been eliminated. Martin lose half, half of his stack. And what a moment that is for Yildrum. He is now going to be playing over five million.
Martin is going to attempt to raise fold off 10 bigs here with the king nine. Does get it done. Needs to be careful doing that off such a small stack. Igor all in with the 9 8 at diamonds with 17 remaining. All players guaranteed a minimum of 1,527 euro currently. Roman in the big blind with the opportunity to eliminate a player but decides to not gamble with pocket sixes. I think that's a missed opportunity there from Roman to knock out, I would say, one of the most accomplished players left in the field, Igor Brito. And for Brito here, the giant dad says, huh, I thought it was it. Far too big of a fold there from the pocket six as Brito is going to rejam for sub 10 bigs and Yildrum going to be forced to fold his queen four off suit.
Igor complete with 8 4 diamonds, ace 5 3 is the flop. Martin has 7 4 of clubs. At a 180 and a call turn is the five of hearts Igor going for a second barrel here for 275. Uh, the story he's telling is a little bit unbelievable because he most likely would raise with an ace prey and he wouldn't have too much 5x in his hand. Can have some flushes, however. Does fire a second barrel and gets the job done. Really nice pick up there for Igor. Roman raising to 330k with King Queen of Diamonds and Yildrum in the big blind. And a call for additional 170k. Yildrum flopping best here with second pair. Jack 7 3, Rainbow is the flop. This is a nice board for Roman to start telling a story on. He's got a lot of backdoor equity and it's a dry board. Check from Yeldrum on this turn. Flop going bet and a call. And for Roman. Most likely wants to just be checking back this one. Does check. River is the six of diamonds. Now, if I'm Yeldrum, I might put out a small blockerish sizing here forward slash value bet Yildrum will take that one down.
Blinds have gone up. 100, 200, 200. Small blind 100k, big blind 200k. With a 200k running big blind ante, that's 1, 2, 2. Igor in the cutoff of 12 bigs, king 10 off suit. Normally just shove this one, but I think it's fine to use it as a raise fold against this lineup. Go for 425. And this is a difficult spot for Maria. If she had more information on Igor, she could warrant a rejam here. But it's just looks so strong from Igor. He just has 10 bigs behind, and it looks like he is raised calling Maria's stack. I might just flick in 225k to see a flop. Looks like she's just gonna let it go. If Igor is pounding on our big blind, I think we just make a stand there and rejam. Seventeen left. The pressure is on. Martin Reyes into 500k in the cutoff. This will look very strong as well with just 900k behind. Maria reshipping from the small with a hand as strong as ace queen. And now, the problem for Martin is he is committing himself. We'll call it off. Just seven bigs to start the hand. I have seen stranger things happen. I actually thought we might have seen Martin fall there. But he was raised calling. And he does have 40% equity against Maria's ace queen. 3.3 million in the pot. Jack seven five. Turn is the tennis spades. Martin out. Set to pretty much eliminate Maria. Unless Maria can get lucky on the river and she doesn't. Maria is going to be left with one big blind. She will sit back down with 255k and for Martin. He's now going to be playing 3.3 million. Sick for Maria. Got a feel for nothing she can do there, of course. If someone's asking about the chips there's no red chips in play it's just the usual orange chips are 5k green chips are 25k and the white chips you see in front of the players are 100k each nice to have you with us fat star lord
Gildrum raising to 450 with King 10 of Hearts. And Igor in the big with Ace Queen of Hearts. Just gonna rejam this one for 13 bigs total. Looks like he is going to three back call this one. Puts in one and a half million, committing himself. I prefer to just jam this. I know there's a probably a pay jump. No pay jump to worry about. He's just three bet and juicing. Interesting stuff here from Igor. Igor does eventually just get it through. Takes down a nice pot, nice pot now playing three and a half million. Maria all in for her last big blind here with King 5 off suit and the elder with Ace 10 of Diamonds. Maria going to need help. She's got 36% equity. It is Jack 6 4. Yildirim 3 to 1 favourite to eliminate Maria in 17th place. Burn is the Queen of Spades. Maria needs help on this river or she will be eliminated. Good game, Maria. Unlucky in the end. Nothing she could do. We'll see her at the King's Resort again very soon, I'm sure.
Right, folks, that means 16 players remain. We are going to go do another redraw and come back with two tables of eight. Hope you're enjoying the show. We'll be back within 20 minutes, 16 to 17 minutes. We'll have 16 players on two tables and we'll play down to a final table from there. See you all in a few moments. All in from Kamenita and Pansier is asking for a kind. Really, really awful spot for him. Yeah, yeah. Bottom of range when our opponents could easily just, you know, 3x trashy hands like 8-3 and whatnot. I think you're absolutely right, Henry. I think we, uh, we want to be limping in there sometimes. Obviously, it is nice to just go ahead and rip and, you know, see what happens, let the cards fall where they may, but getting trappy is never a bad thing. Particularly with a hand like Queens, which doesn't need too much protection from over cards. As we see Panzier raising the 500,000 under the gun, comes with the men open, and Mr. Wheeler, all the way from Chicago. Doesn't have the worst hand in the world to three bet fold. But we're gonna see a re-raise after he takes this time, but elects to just let it go. Oh, Mr. Wheeler. Super. I'm seeing a 22 big blind stack. See the pounce in the chat there for you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to hear my Jason Wheeler story? It's, you, it's your story, mate, yeah. I feel like I've built it up to something it's not. Oh, no. Is it another... Another one. Disappointing <laughs> Gary Blackwood story. Yes, it is. It's yes, kind, it of, is. kind of like your jokes. Your dad jokes. Oi, let me take that back. Right, so I think the year is 2018. I'm playing my first ever World Series of Poker main event. Oh, no. I think I missed oh. It's okay, yeah? I let like this and fold it. Wow. So, so Milan has... Just set fire to 125k, didn't realize that it had been opened. Wow. Well, that's pretty, that's a pretty brutal live misclick. Yeah. Really need to stay dialed in in these spots, chat, pay attention. I mean, there's a lot going on. Would have flopped an open ender. What a weird spot. What will you play after w Below with 3.5. Behind 1.4 in the EPD middle. Yeah, and then EPD prog. And time off. And then time off. Thinking of going to Amsterdam. Not like big, but it's going to be fun. Let's check through. Five of clubs on the turn, pairing the board. Bulu immediately reaching. Henry spoke about this earlier. He tends to act hella quickly. Comes out with a very quick stab here for 350,000 chippies. Yeah, big fan of this turn probe for quarter pot. Around tree fitted. Not going to get the job done, though. Pansy 8. Correctly deciphering that this king is going to be good a lot of the time here. Makes a call. Pudu looking for a 7 and 8 or a 9 to take the lead. Panzi is staring him down. 6 of hearts on the river. 
Bit of a disaster card if you're Boodaloo because now the Ace X type hands a little more likely to call. Not going to slow him down, Gary. As he goes B25 on the turn, B50 thereabouts on the river. Straight draws miss, flush draws miss. Panze with just ace high. One of the better ace highs to call with, though. Your opponent shouldn't be bluffing much ace X or king X. So you unblock those bluffs. You don't block too much value, mind you. You don't block ace six suited. You do block king six suited. You don't block king five suited. I was like, oh, this just happens all the time. These guys really focused every pot, extremely important. Makes the call. Nice call, sir. Take a bow, not easy. Obviously, easy for us in the booth and at home, but out there, bright lights, cameras. Don't want to look like player, an Yeah, two players away from a WSOP bracelet event final table. If you think me my mistake, it was Stays dialed in and finds the correct call up to 10 million in chips. Now, the Frenchman. Crumbs. What did you think of Rosvedov Everhoof? Curious to hear your thoughts on this place. How many likes have we got on YouTube? I hear you ask, as we're going to see a flop for the first time in a while. 257. You guys are awesome. My name is Gary Blackwood, also known as Gazzy 123 As we get a very interesting flop here, the Jack Deuce of Spades flopping the flush draw. Pansier flopping top pair. I don't see Pansier doing much checking here. Maybe he just check rips it. Who knows? Does it like to check? Caminita with that flush draw and the overcard. Reasonable equity here for the Italian. He decides to knuckle it on back. Five of diamonds on the turn. No help to Caminita just yet, although he does pick up the gut shot. A four would give him a straight. A jack would give him top pair. A spade would give him a flush. 31% equity. Does Pansier start to fire now? Answer is yes. Lars de Monk says EPT Prague is soon. Yes, it is, my friend. Yes, it is. 2.4 million is a bet. Call from Kamenita. No help to him on the river. Panse with the best of it. 8.4 million in there. Caminita with a pot sized bet left behind. Had to get an action flop. And then nine deuce versus Jack Deuce hands. Caminita didn't bluff the river earlier in this spot. When his king high flush draw missed, a lot less showdown value here with the Jack Deuce. All in from Caminita and Pansier. Is asking for a count. Really, really awful spot for him with just second pair. Lots of draws missed, though. Lots of hands like Jack 4, 10, 4. Spades. Chat. Do we think he's going to call it off? Type number one if you think he's going to call, two if he's going to fold. Get your answers in as soon as possible. One if you think Pansier makes the call with a pair of nines, two if you think he folds. We've got deuce, deuce, deuce already. Bunch of ones. Wow, answers coming in thick and fast. Plant the seed, there are 2,982. Looks to be that the chat thinks a call is slightly more likely. All those missed draws as mentioned, but a bunch of two pairs. A bunch of straights that might play like this. Pansier with the big stack, he might want to preserve that stack. If he calls and loses, he's down to about 15 million. Less, actually. But on the other hand, guys and girls, if he calls and wins, he's got one hand on the bracelet. Yeah. 
Should have gone all in on the turn with that hand. A little surprised they didn't get it in on the flop, to be honest with you. There's no obvious two pairs. I think there are some. 5-3, 6-3, 6-5, 9-5, 6-6. It gets through, and he shows the bluff. Oh, my days. You love to see it. Kamenita instantly on his back. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs>And you've got to give him credit, ladies and gentlemen, for having the heart to fire three times into the chip leader. Six points. Six point five. Six point seven behind. Is that right? Six point seven behind. One million. One million. For raise one million. Alan Kessler saying some are fake online caches. It shouldn't count online as WSOP caches. Okay, what about online bracelets? Do they count? Top pair for open. Complete with for Squiddy. Has been knuckled over to him. And he's going to set fire to 600k. No, Martin saying NFG, Henry, Alakas saying no, they don't count either in my book. Put it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Five seconds. Each to their own opinions, I get it. Alan Kessler. Squiddy picking up equity on the Queen of Diamonds, and nine would now win it for him. Picked out for picked up four outs. You see the payouts in the chat. Everyone now guaranteed three hundred and fourteen thousand euros for their efforts. Squiddy has found a sizable double barrel. 1.6 into 3.4, just a pip south of half pot. Setting up a very natural river jam. It's the three of clubs, finds its way to the river. Pretty much all the draws bricking bar the seven fours of the world. Hearts and diamonds, seven eights, nine ten. Grafton unblocking both hearts and diamonds. Wonder if he finds the follow through here. Five seconds. Four seconds. Open. Slips over the rope. Six point eight in the middle. Does Grafton just wave the white flag? Does he say run it? Five seconds. On time, then, please. Balance. 3.5. Does effectively jam. Fires a third barrel for 3.5 million. And you've got to give him credit, ladies and gentlemen, for having the heart 
to fire three times into the chip leader. Picked up equity on the turn, hence the turn double barrel. Has followed through on the Brick River with all the immediate draws. All well, the obvious draws, rather. Breaking feels like a decent hand candidate to do it with. Unblocking hearts. Unblocking diamonds. Blocking some of the stronger hands. And wow. Gets Orp in to fold the better hand. And Sam Grafton, ladies and gentlemen, is up to 11 million. Are you ready for today? Yeah. See you at Kings.
What a time to come back here, folks, first hand. 16 players remaining now, two tables of eight. The aces are all in against the jacks of Kai in the big blind standard stuff. Just a cooler situation. And Yevhen will be left with 10 big blinds if he can't hold with the aces. And for Kai, he's going to need to get lucky. Looking for a jack or something to that effect. Turn is the five of diamonds on the king ten three five. Kai down to a Jeffrey on the river, or he will be eliminated in 16th place. GG Kai, nothing he can do there, of course. Yevhen will now be playing 8.7 million. And a pay jump has been reached. All players now guaranteed a minimum of 1,720 euro. Lines are still 100, 200, 200. Mania on the button here. Queen Tennis Spades, 10 big blinds, and the decision. Just wants to be shoving this one. Looks like he is going to go for a raise. Raises to 550 in Plaza. Just wants to be re jamming this one. No other move with seven bigs. Let's go all in. And Mania pretty much priced in here, you know. 1.7 million total already has 550 out there pink chips are now in play they're all worth half a million each I would just prefer to shove there, but on this occasion, he saves himself some chips. He was dominated. Can't make a habit of putting 550 out there with just one and a half behind and falling.
Roman is just going to complete the small blind. Yevon going to raise to 550. The queen tree offsuit. Roman is going to call the additional with the 10 seven of clubs. We will see the flop. Flop is queen nine eight. Roman just moving all in for the two mil. 2.175 and Yevhen has top pair. I think he should just be calling this one. He already has so much money invested. It's a draw heavy board. He beats a lot of hands. It's blind v blind. He's got top pair. Wow, that is shocking. Falling top pair for just about seven big blinds behind. What a pick up there from the 10 7 of clubs with just an open ender. Incredible stuff that he gets that one through. We can't just. Raise it up pre to 550 and then bet and then fold for the additional. What was he hoping to hit? He's got top pair. It's not that much more to call. Voice uh, exploit that says, hmm, nice fold. What a play. I don't know if it was a nice fold, but the 10 7, delighted that it worked nonetheless. Queens for Roman here.
Yeah, then just going to essentially move all in from the cutoff. He has everyone covered. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of short stacks in an event like this. It has to end tonight. There are 50 still remaining. Igor getting jammed on for 15 bigs is going to fold from the small. That's a very big fold there by Igor, but he knows he can find better spots. And the ace five folding in the big blind with just a million behind is quite a large fold also. I don't know I don't know how much Igor should be calling off there. Fifteen bigs maybe a little bit too much. But God it's close. If he is gonna fold hands as strong as that, then he can be heavily exploited and he knows he's gonna have the edge against most of the field remaining. And he, uh, waking up with kings. And here with kings and Igor with ace nine. Two and a half million in the middle. Igor would be left with five bigs if he loses this. Serving him well that he folded the ace five just a moment ago now. Prime condition here to get a double up. Turn is the deuce of diamonds. And Igor down. A very few outs, just two as we hit the river. River is the deuce of spades and Igor. We'll have to pay the man. We will be left with nine bigs. Raffle getting a walk. It was a big moment there for the Kings, by the way, to double up and get something going. Now playing 12 and a half bigs. That's why we fold the ace five, guys. 
I actually just was thinking about that ham with the ace five. They put off a short fifteen bigs, so that's the effective stack. So ace five not going to play too well against that shoving range. I don't actually mind him folding and fi trying to find a better spot. If we've any less than five big big blinds behind, I think we just have to put it in. Any more, I think we just fold. So we, although we're kind of laughing about that one in the chat, that shoving range is going to be contain a lot of the smaller pairs, middle pairs. Are oftentimes we are going to be faced in a 70-30 situation or a 60-40. Igor now with nine bigs. Pocket fives. Gotta shove this one. And Aves with King Queen of Diamonds in the cutoff. He wants to be gambling here. King Queen Suda going to play very well against the shoving range. Off sub 10 bigs to start the hand. Not a fan of this fold from the King Queen Suited. Great opportunity to gamble and double up to get something going. Igor getting away with it, and that's why you'll see Igor fold a hand as strong as King Jack. He might have even folded King Queen off suit, maybe not King Queen suited in that spot where he was jammed on for 15 bigs because he can get hands through where players are not going to call correctly, so he doesn't need to take that risk. Roman making a 5.25 to go on the button.
We have had an elimination at an outer table, so we will be playing two tables of seven now. The pay jump will be looming from 1,720 euro to 1,970 euro. That's the difference between 14th and 13th place. We are five eliminations away from the final table. Queen 10 8 is the flop here. Osman defending pretty wide with the Jack 8 offsuit. Blinds have gone up, 150k is the small blind, 300k is the big blind with a 300k running big blind ante, that's 150, 300, 300, Aves is going to move all in for his last 5 bigs with, for 1.5 million, the kings of kings, great time to pick them up and try to get a double up. Five big blinds total, but don't think he can call here with Queen 7 suited. Does let it go. Nothing going Igor's way. You get the fives true where in all honesty could have been getting called by King Queen suited and going off to the races. Alves with 2.3 million with pocket sevens.
Osman all in from the cutoff for his last four big blinds with pocket sevens. Igor with ace king. We're going off to the races. And we could be getting three way action. Aves here. One oh Toddy at pocket nines. He's got nine eight off. He's gone. Postman. Sevens. Igor Ace King. Three point one million in the middle. Big flip here for both players, even though it's only five big blinds apiece. King, Queen, 8 is the flop. Turn is the 10 of clubs. Also been needing help on the river. It doesn't arrive. Igor will double up. Nice. For Igor, Osman has been eliminated in 14th place. That means 13 players now remaining, all guaranteed a minimum of 1,970 euro. That means we are four eliminations away from the final table. ECW King is in the house. Hello, ECW. What up, my G? Um, tight fold there from the high jack or the low jack. The high jack now, 32 bigs. Playing to go to 10 million. Wants to be probably just shoving the pocket trees, depending on what the effective stack is behind him. Plaza gets a walk. Pocklip says, sorry, he's being quiet. Got a reply from that one I mentioned from 2013. That old chestnut. The goat from the past.
shoulder walk taking place. Apocalypse says it's been 10 years. Randy came across her yesterday, met at a youth festival. Let's just say I hope to keep meeting afterwards. Nothing ever happened. Well, mentioned ballroom dancing in the chat. Would be a good conversation starter. Igor with aces here. His patience could be paying off. Manny moving all in from the hijack. Jack Tensu is going to get out of the way. Igor going to snap him off. Igor will call. 4.25 million is the bet. And that's 100% on the flop, ace, nine, eight. for Mania he goes out in 12th place that means 11 players remaining now two eliminations away from the FT all players now guaranteed 2,300 euro ECW says he won in his home game tonight 300 euro nice one well played a win's a win any day you break even any day you break even is a good day so win 300 chalk it up sunny jim is just going to limp in the small he's going to complete complete with the ace four off and igor in the big all options on the table here for igor shoving is just totally fine unless you're going to raise as an induce
So Igor raising to 850, and now Yevhen with the decision decides to just fold. Igor takes down the blinds and antis. Apocalypse says World Series Poker Circuit Mini Main is 250. Get yourself in for that. Yes, indeed. That's going to be starting next weekend, folks. The World Series of Poker Circuit events are commencing next weekend. They're on for three weeks. Then we've got the Wolf weekend after that then the Dutch classics and then needless to say the World Series of Poker Europe 15 events 15 bracelets 15 million guaranteed Aces again for Igor. Laz with pocket nines here in the big blind. This is just going to go all in and call. And you can see in the top right hand corner of your screen, there are only 10 players remaining now. So this could be it. We're about to find out. Go all in and call. And Igor, his patience really paying off. Another ace in the window. Plaza has been eliminated pretty much. Bing, bang, boom. Just like that, we are going to be going to the FT of the Noel and Beholdem ZTO Big Raft main event. Okay, folks. We are going to go on another break. It's been fast and rapid. The action has been intense. Nine remain. We'll see you all in 20 minutes for the final table.
Backdoor flush draw rolling off this time round. Oh my word, dealer. Back into six handed action and well, short stack with the boots. Savanelli with a hand and decision. All options on the table here, in my opinion. Raising with the aces and facing a tank. Savanelli does decide to let it go. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. What is going on, dealer? Peluso with ace king suited. And a stack of around 32 big blinds. What a brutal cooler. Is he going to shove? Is he going to 3-bet? I would imagine 3-bet is more appealing given you've got the big stack behind who could wake up with an absolute monster and you might find some parallel universe whereby you fold this. He does come with a raise. So it looks like 1.5. Which I like, as mentioned, you know, you don't want to shove and see the probably just about get away from your ace king suited. All in and a call. Peluso sees the bad news. Wow, King in the window with a heart on board, Gary. Wow. There's some life. Wow, it's never easy. It's never easy. There is some life. One heart. Oh, it's a diamond. No backdoor flush draw rolling off this time round. Oh, my word, dealer. King of Diamonds corner pocket, Gary Blackwood. We are down to five players here. Ladies are hot today as we see Flugel opening up pocket queens to 500,000. Min raises all around. It's like that's the option he's mulling over. He does let go. I guess he's just trying to be as balanced as possible, taking his time in those spots. Yeah. Peluso with King Jack off in the big blind, certainly going to be calling here. Little does he know Flugel is under the gun with a monster. Every pot extremely important, particularly to these shorter stack players. Oh, wow. As we get the Jack 7-3 dream spot now for Flugel. Oh, boy. Peluso going to have to do the dirty again. <laughs> Plopping top pair, decent kicker. An ace-jack, king-jack to go along with the, the pocket threes, the Jack 7 suits of this life. So I would not be surprised to see a bet and a raise here. Calling, of course, fine, but given the texture of the board, given all those semi bluffs you're going to have, you want to widen your value range ever so slightly. Five handed. He is reaching. I see more chips go in. Reaching for calling chips. Certainly nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't have been surprised to see a raise, but calling, of course, completely fine. As we see Flugel staring down his opponent, that is a, an intimidating stare. Is it Jesse? Oh, I can't remember. I don't want to Google it. That's cheating. It is a chunky bet. 1.4 million into a pot of two. Around 70% pot. And it sets up nicely for the river jam on bricks. It really does. 4.8 would be in there with 3.1 behind. Coming into that break unless Peluso can obviously get there again. There are also a lot of rivers that will kill the action of both players. For sure. Four, six, a heart, an ace. He does call. Hi, hi, hi. Queens are hot, Henry. Now, this is a really good card for Flugel because, um, you know, it's a really good card for him to bluff if he's going to have like ace six or ace four. Mm. So he might get hero called here. Kind of like ace king that's barreling off. Obviously, it's not ideal. We can see that it kills his action, but it's not a disastrous card in terms of it being the over card. He does have plenty of bluffs in his range here. Missed hearts, of course. As we see the all-in, and Peluso immediately grimaces. He's going to ask for a count. He does grimaces. not like it. 3.1 million to call. Yeah, Flugel doing backflips in his mind right now. Mm -hmm. Praying for a call. 
uh, the best part is all the other players at the table are praying for a call as well. They want to just see maximum action. I've been there myself just last week. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh he does boy. make the call. Get shown top set. And Flugel is up to 11 million chip. Fogged with a very playable ace also in the cutoff. Going to come in for a raise. 500,000 chips. Question is, are we coming back with five players or no. four players? The, the, the tonic for just losing a massive pot is surely picking up pocket kings in the next hand. That's come with the... Oh, <laughs> oh what wow. is going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> We've literally been commentating for less than <laughs> two and a half hours. We came back with 13 left. And it has just been non-stop action so far today. Event number one of the World Series of Poker Europe opener. Flugel chopping off one of his opponent's legs in the previous hand. Is he about to chop the other one off? It's wild as well because it is off the back of Peluso tank folding, uh, tank calling in a big spot. Maybe, you know, sometimes going to be tilted here, but he does have the goods. Nine, seven, four. Couple of hearts on board. Flugel does now have the running hearts. 15 million chip pot. Oh boy. Four hearts on the turn. It's never easy, is it, Gary? It's never easy, boys and girls. One card to come for the chip lead. Not like this. Flugel needs an ace or a heart to be the chip leader with four left and 95k and a brace it up top. No dice. Ooh. It looked close, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Five of diamonds on the river and just like that. So One more shout out coming, shout out to Welsh Gaz who dragged me out of the house to play. My main man Gareth Devro. Drag me out of the house to play. You have a swap ski, 5%? Swap 10, yeah. Swap 10? Yeah. We, wow, what a life. We only went to play and to, to get very, very drunk. I was very drunk on the first day. I was blind raising under the gun, trying to get the table to agree to a round of blind raises. <laughs> was showing cards, just doing shots of baby Guinness. Wow. I, yeah. Was unbelievably hungover. And I rocked up to day two with 10, bl 10 bigs and, and shipped it. How, how many left when you rocked up to day two? 70, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're about. Ran top 1%, got to be said. Oh, the absolute fair. Probably I played okay, but ran top 1%. As we have the battle of the king highs here, Peluso with king three of clubs against the king queen of diamonds of Wilco, who's just lost that pretty chunky pot. Yeah, it was a sizable pot, yeah. Seven, seven odd mil. <sighs> king in the window. Oh Both boy. players happy with that. Could be blood here. 1.6 in the middle. Wilco reaching. Not going to be checking back this king high. If he wants to be checking some back, it'll be the King Deuce and the King Threes of this life. But King Queen, very strong indeed, as we see. He has his opponent dominated right now. Throws out a bet. Around half pot. I like this size. Like this half pot kind of size here. Sort of does suggest that he doesn't want to bet his entire range. Wants to play some check backs, which I think is smart to the turn. Four of hearts. Pretty connected turn card. Some five threes and eight fives get there. Some six four, seven four type hands. Lots of bad rivers now. Lots of straight completing, flush completing rivers. Wilka with a decision to make. I think we'll see him reach again here. Before deciding what to do. I like this. I think a lot of players out there who are watching who might be perhaps not as experienced as these players would be very tempted to check back here. But there's lots of value to be had. This comes with 2.5 million. Again, almost a pot size bet. Setting up for the river jam. He really does like the strength of his hand here. Peluso in a world of hurt here with just top pair, no kicker. Not going anywhere with top pair, as you'd expect. Makes a call. All of a sudden, there's 8 million in the middle. Wilke with 6.9 behind. He's done a great job of setting up a very natural river SPR of sub 1. Should he want to jam on brick rivers such as like a jack? Oh, oh, oh wow. The 5 just slides on in there. Check, that check. is brutal. Woke up with two very unfortunate hands. Wow. And then we have the two bigger stacks, seven Ellie, currently with 18 million and a very playable 10 nine of spades. He will be opening this one up on the button. Limp. 
Bon Lim. No limp. Oh, he's limped. He's limped the he's button, limped chat. The button. He has limped the button. What is it? What has this poker become? Let's go. Short stack in the big blind. Don't want to raise fold 10 9 suit, do you? <laughs> the chip leader, although not by much, he elects to call oh, and wow. flugel. All his dreams are coming true right now. And it comes down, Jack 5 4, you just hate your life. You're kind of happy to just shove it in. And, uh, and if you take it down, so be it. You also get to to, to, to make dominated hands call off. Uh, Paluso now with a spot here. He's going to ask for a count. It's going to be very close for Paluso here, given the fact it's only really 10 big blinds. I think I lean towards a fold here. But he is kind of at the top of his range, given the fact that he's completed in the small blind. Let's see what he comes up here. <laughs> wow, he says cool. Cards on their backs. Yeah, he, he's played tremendously, and I feel like this man with chips is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Well, wow. Queen, Jack, four. Queens are hot. I guess sometimes. Will four on the turn? It's just today. Four would be the biggest sweat, that's for sure. Can Flugel find it? Oh, oh wow. Just dead on the turn, Gary. We are down to three players. Flugel with the needled ace on the <laughs> river. <laughs> As we see Savinelli picking up the king jack of clubs in the small blinds. Now you guys and girls watching at home will have noticed that the fewer players remaining, the more blind versus blind battles we have. And obviously we're going to have quite a lot of these now. As we see Peluso with a very healthy chip lead here, 26 million mm. to Savinelli's 12 million. And once again, not for the first time today, we're going to a flop, blind versus blind, in one of these limp pots with two pretty strong hands. Oh, <laughs> wow. How about that? Gary, we could potentially have a new chip leader here if a club rolls off. Oh, my word. Peluso getting to work straight away. Comes with the call. Club on the turn would be fireworks. Oh my oh. word, Gary. Lord in heaven. Both players loving life, although Peluso is going to get some very, very bad news very soon. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Nope. We are one card away from a new chip leader, especially if the board doesn't pair. 2.5 million. That is a chunky bet. The club doesn't roll off. A quick bet as well. Not taking his time. Wow. Three-handed bracelet up top. It's a bit awkward here for Savinelli because he might want to raise, but tough to find a size that isn't all in. He likes to just call lots of rivers that could kill his action here if the board pairs or if a club rolls off. And we get the cleanest, cleaner than clean. No way. The bleachiest three of hearts. 7.8 million in the middle. Savinelli checking it on over to Peluso for a third time. Blind v blind. Remember, this was a limped pot chat. Let's just listen in to Peluso after he loses this pot because he's not going to be a happy bunny. Savinelli is about to be the new chip leader regardless of whether or not he's loading the gun. Peluso calls the check jam. The inevitable check jam, one would assume. I think Savinelli always jams. Given the pre-flop action, you expect your opponent to raise all their suited ASX. Let's just make the call. He's just called? With the second nuts. I don't believe that. And he is up to 22 million. He gets shown the flush from Peluso as well. So he's going to be somewhat furious that he didn't check jam there. Oh, you're going to love that. All right, Sands. I'm, I'm glad you haven't seen that. I'll check it out. I love it when, like, people haven't seen, like, a banging movie, and yeah. you're just like, okay, yeah, go watch it. Should we stick on just now? Stream that? Yeah, let's put it up on the side yeah, now. Let's yeah. do no, I meant instead of this. As you see the raise from Vogt on the button. 10-8 offsuit. Makes it 1 million to go. Peluso with a very defendable hand. King-9 offsuit. He will make the call. When he heads up to the flop. Nine in the window with oh a king behind no. it. No, how about a seven as well, Gary? Aye, aye, aye. Open ender for the German. Top two for Peluso. This 
his action. I think we'll see Peluso play this one pretty aggressively here. It is a very wet board. You want to slow play your top twos on King 8 3 rainbow, but King 9 7 flush draw. And he is reaching for calling chips. No, he isn't. That be a raise, Henry. Is indeed. 1.8. It's for 2.6. Comes with what? 4.3x. 4. 4. 2.6 indeed. Really tough spot for Volk now. Mm -hmm. It does make the call. An offsuit 6. Oh, offsuit 6 one time. Come on. Is the card that would get us pretty much to heads up. 7.9 in the middle. It's mm. close. Inconsequential for diamonds. Close, but no cigar. 9.1 million is the effective stack. 7.9 million in there. Let's listen in. So coming with the raise. Vogt with Jack 10 off in the small blind. Looks appealable to, to, to play. But when you've only got 15 big blinds, you have to tread very carefully. He looked down at his chips and then thought better of it. I thought for a moment he was going to stick it in there. A very ambitious jam for 15 bigs. He does like to let it go, though. And Savinelli with 8-3 offset in the big blind. I don't think we'll see him again. Oh, boy. That was me thinking he was about to fold. I'm very surprised to see this. This is an unbelievably loose peel. Just 3-bet in the old... Oh, he's 3-bet it. He's 3-bet it to 3.5. Sorry, I thought he peeled. What's a 100 euro hoodie? He and does. There's the, the ball in Savinelli gifting chips to his compatriot. The hand number 120. Hasn't felt like 120 hands. It, felt, it feels like it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a lot faster than that. As you see Savinelli, he limps in. Wow, so Savinelli limping in off sub-20. Peluso just oh, puts him in, and Savinelli snap calls. Hang on a minute, Gary. <laughs> 37,000 euro flip, and that coveted WSOP gold bracelet on the line. Jack, 6-4. Not even a club, Gary, for the old backdoor flush draw sweat. Diamonds for Peluso. Ten of clubs. Changes nothing. And Gary, that man right there with the bucket hat <laughs> and the orange hoodie, Peluso is one card away from winning a bracelet and 95,000 euros. Deuce of Diamonds, we have our first bracelet winner of the World Series of Poker Europe live from King's Resort. out of the 
All right, folks, we're back. We're live. It's the final table of the No Limit Hold'em Big Rap ZTO. Live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov, your chip leader is Mr. Cook with 36 bigs. Igor in second place with 29. Yevhen with 21 is in third. Moshi with 18. Yildrum with 18 bigs as well. Med with 17. Roman with 16. Varus with 10. And your short stack in the ninth hole is Avis. <coughs> Lines are still 150, 300, 300. And this is going to be fast and furious, I would think. No player at this FT above 40 bigs. This is going to end tonight, folks. ninth place is going to receive 2780 euro and the winner of this event is going to take home the title 30,600 euro and first second and third all going to get a 10 grand ticket to the world series of poker europe main event so it is all to play for here Looks like we've got quite a few characters at this table, which is always great to see. There's a 230 euro buy-in. So these players most likely playing for the biggest score of their life. Average stack is just shy of 20 big blinds. raising to 700k from under the gum with pocket sixes. Mr. Cook, the only player playing over 10 million at this FT, going to fold his ace three at diamonds. Apocalypse says he's gone to bed. I'm sure he's gone by now, but good night. See you tomorrow. Thanks a million for your help. Mo C 
is going to call an additional 400k getting a bit out of line here with king four off suit flop coming queen jack three bit of a loose defend to say the least just big pay jumps i do understand it is only 400k more to see the flop but it's not even suited Children betting 550 here and Mo is just not going to be able to continue. Mr. Cook with ace five of hearts. Was eventually raised eight fifty. Yildrum is going to call in the big blind. And it is 8.73. Yildrum is going to check and miss the book. Like he's just going for an all in. Not messing around. Paris, the cut off here with nine feet off. Unless the graphics are incorrect, here this is a wild 
Wild man. Wild thing. Wow. Something if you try at home. Pilgrim's gonna re jam here with King 10 off. Things are getting spicy here at the F8. Nice rejam there by Yildrim. Taking down a nice pot. Wouldn't expect our opponent to be raising that wide. And off that stack size. Barris is all in from the hijack for seven bigs. So eight big blind jam. He's going to get called by Roman in the big blind. My pocket tens. We're off to the races. Roman is the covering stack. Varus is the player at risk. 41% to 48 King of Diamonds. Roman 59% with the two tens. Five point win one million in the pot. Is Jack 9 5? That's a great start for Roman. Paul Hart. Turn is a safe club. Where is 9 Diamond? Harris has been eliminated. The lucky star, good game. You will take home 2,780 euro for your effort. That means all players remaining guaranteed three and a half grand to go three today. 3,500 euro. Eight players remaining now. Average stack is 22 big. And Aves with five big blinds here on the button. 
a mandatory jam with Queen 10 suited but decides to let it go that is way way too tight by Aves and Igor going to get a walk Yildirim raising to 7.50 with ace three of spades. Mr. Cook with the decision with ace three of hearts in the big blind. playing between 20 and 40 bigs made with 17 mostly with 14 aves on life support here with five big blinds needs to get something going can't win by folding And Mo is going to call under gun plus one with Queen 10 off suit. I do not believe this. Igor has aces for the third time. bump it up by the large sizing he's going for nearly 5x I would prefer to see him make it a little bit more enticing for his opponents to call even making it a million here would be totally acceptable but this is really pricing out hands that want to see a flop And Mo is all in. <coughs> Going to get the super bad news that Igor has the rockets for the, the third time in just a couple of orbits. Incredible stuff from Igor. Remember when he had 
under two million and now could become the chip leader unless he gets very unlucky. And that's Poe's definite as it can be. Turn is the five of hearts. Igor now going to be playing a massive stack and we are down to seven players. Unlucky for the Queen 10. G, G sir, you will take home 3,500 euro for your efforts. That means all remaining players guaranteed 5,050 euro minimum. Lines are now up by the way, 200k, 400k, 400k. Roman raising to 8.25 from the hijack with King Queen off suit. War raising to 925 from the hijack with 86 of diamonds. Nice big fat stack for Igor in relation to the field. And he's in great shape to get a great result out of this FD because he's by far one of the most experienced players left.
Yeldrum in the big blind, 15 5 off, 2 5 25 to call. Let's go. Ace King here for Med, 11 big blinds, moves it all in. Difference between 7th and 6th place is from 5,050 euro to 6,700 euro. Aves now going to go all in. See, this is why you want to be taking those shove spots to hands like Queen 10 suited for 5 bigs. Blinds hitting you, the ante's hitting you, and you're almost all in by default. Got two big blinds invested, and you've only one big blind behind. He's got good equity here between six. He does pop a pair. Run as a jack. Ned needing an ace for King now on the river. Aves will double up to 2.9 million. It's a parry on the river. Med has eliminated Aves. Nothing he can do there. Six players remaining now. Unlucky start for game. All players now guaranteed 6,700 euro. Six remaining. Handed action. off 13 bigs jack 10 suited a lot of the time we just want to be shoving this one but we can use it in our raising range and he is going to do that raises to 850 roman in the big blind with ace five off suit sometimes just want to be re-jamming this one I think it plays better than just call and a just fold is the worst option of the tree
Med shoving for six million with Ace Queen. We'll take down the blinds and antis. Roman on the button of 17 bigs, ace 10 off suit, just moves all in. <coughs> Mr. Cook with a pair. But he won't be able to call off with just two fours. See, he had Roman just min raised on the button here, and Cook jammed on him. Roman would most likely just have to fold a hand as strong as ace 10 with the ICM considerations, so it is better that he just straight up jams himself. That's a nice pick up there from the ace 10. Igor will put those chips to work. 9.25 to go on the button with Queen 10 off suit. This is an interesting final table with six remaining because players a little bit shorter than what we're used to. And there are big pay jumps. 
pressure is really on. There's three tickets worth 10 grand for first, second, and third as well. Difference between sixth now and fifth is from 66,700 to 8,600. Meg can see a flop for 525 more with 10 8 off suit. Just eventually let it go. Mr. Cook is going to shove and he is not going to like the big blind waking up with Kings here. Very unlucky. And for the big blind picking up the Kings at Kings at a vital moment. What a time to be alive for Yevon. 12 million in this pot. Just 13% equity for Mr. Cook. 87% for the Kings as we go to the flop. Flop is 975. Two diamonds. And just 4% now for Mr. Cook. Very bleak flop indeed. Turn is a nine. That seals the deal. Mr. Cook now going to be playing under 10 bigs.
Mr. Cook is getting way to our line here from the cutoff, holding 11 big blinds with 9 feet off boot. That was a very risky business from the line six off to clearly frowned off, losing with a large percent percentage of his stack with Queen Jack off to running into the Kings. Just unfortunate. Nothing you can do. Ace 10 3 is the flop here. Roman with Queen 8 and yields them with 4 3. He's just going to bet with his pair of trees. Mr. Cook with pocket sixes, 14 big blinds. I think he can just rip this one. Does move all in. Oh my god. This is incredible. I really have to feel for Mr. Cook here. He's just ran into Kings. He was the chip leader coming into the final table. Med wakes up with aces behind. This has been a crazy action packed FT so far. Wow. This is so, so sick for Mr. Cook. And for Med, he could easily just have 12.2 million now. Also, there'll be three or four similar stacks then. Jack Jack 5 is the flop. No help to Mr. Cook. Mr. Cook needs a six. 
Curran is an ace, and that has done it for Mr. Cook. Unlucky circle game. He will take home 6,700 euro for his efforts. All players remain in guaranteed a minimum of 8,600 euro. Five remain, three tickets worth 10k up for grabs and 30,000 euro and a title for the winner if you are just tuning in. Yildirim in the cutoff with Jack Nine of Spades. Roman is going to shove over the open with Ace Queen off suit for 7.2 mil. So there you have it folks, basically the top four separated only by about 10 big blinds, very even five handed affair apart from the short stack with 14 bigs, Yildirim average stack is now up over 25 big blinds. favorite to take this down on the button here Igor Chase nine nine twenty five to go med folding and Yevhen Queen five off suit Now, Igor not opening ace five off suit here from the cutoff is a mistake. Wants to keep applying the pressure. 
Med is going to go for the full wallop, the full 3x with King 10 of diamonds from the button. And Yevhen in the small with a pocket pair, but it is only trees. Yildrum in the big blind with ace eight of clubs is going to shove. And it's just 10 big blinds more for Med to call, but given that it's dynamic and what's up for grabs, we could easily just see him fold this one. Med does let it go. <laughs> Igor pocket nines now under the gun. Twenty-five is the raise. Takes that one down, now playing close to 16 million, which is just shy of 40 big blinds. Uh, Yevon raising to a million. Seven, 
And Med 600k more to call with Queen 10 of clubs. We'll see a flop. Jack A4 is the flop. Plenty of equity in it for Med. Checks over to his opponent. One point four million is the bet. Now, for Mad here, I think we want to see a turn, but it is a pricey bet relative to our stack. See, if we're going to call and we get a flop with backdoor clubs working for us, a good shot, straight draw, and a queen can be good, maybe even a 10. We just have too much equity to check fold there. Another pot gone in the direction of Yevon. Roman raising to 900k in the cutoff at 97 of clubs. Yevon calling with ace five in the big. Queen eight deuce is the flop. He will take that one down. He's going to get dealt out if he's not careful. Roman raising to 9.25 with pocket fives. That will get the job done.
Blinds have just gone up. Small blind is 250k. Big blind is 500k with a 500k running big blind ante. That's 250, 500, 500. This will put significant pressure on the shorter stacks and the bigger stacks should use this to their advantage. Start raising wider. Really putting maximum amount of pressure. Especially with those tickets up for grabs as well as the significant pay jumps between 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd and 1st. Yildrum in the cutoff. Eleven big blinds all in. King Queen off suit. And this is a very callable for Med. It's a very strong hand. But because of what's at stake here, just lets it go. Like guys, the difference between fourth and third place is about 13,000 euro, which is just huge. Med just going all in with four trees suited from the small. Igor in the cutoff here with King Ten of Hearts. Min raising. Yildrum with jack six off suit. Be a bit of a stretch to defend here for 550 more. 
And after that, it go. Igor raising with ace ten off suit. Yevon raising to a mill here with a6 off suit in the cutoff. And for Igor in the big blind, I think this is a mandatory rejam. Really put the pressure back on Yevon. There's no point in tree betting. Definitely not going to be folding. You can call. Calling's totally fine, but... I think this one plays far better as a rejam. This is just a stutter step from Igor. Way, way too tight. I know there's a 10 grand ticket at stake, but it's just too good of a spot. And Igor way out in front with the chip lead. They understand that he doesn't want to risk it with a third of all the chips in play, but it's just too good of a spot when we have the covering stack to rejam on Yevon. And then Med with 18, Biggs, Roman with 16, and Yildirim in last place with 12.
Igor is just going to complete in the small blind with nine three of diamonds. Igor is going to bet on ace 10-5 here for 650,000. And Med will get out of the way. Igor with aces once again. Incredible. This is fourth time to get the Rockets. Oh, wow. Five handed here. Both players with aces. Let's see the Hollywood unfold. This looks so strong from Med. Tree betting off this stack. And now Yevon in the big blind with sixes. It's going to be forced to let this go, facing an open on the button and a tree bet from the small <laughs> Igor is all in Med snaps them off but you won't believe that they've the same hand <laughs> let the theatrics commence chop it up boys this will be a sick way to go for either player. <laughs> nine ten nine is the flop. Igor can win with runner runner. Burn is a deuce. Relax, lads. Sit back down. Med, this ain't over.
Yildirim getting a walk here with the King Queen off suit. Jack off suit here for Brito. Igor gets it through. Yildirim shoving from the cutoff of King, seven of diamonds. 12 bigs. And Med in the big blind pocket nines. And he will call. And here we go, folks. Yildirim, just 26% to remain in the tourney. Med set to have. 12 and a half million chips plus the two he already has close to 15 million if he can just survive with his pocket nines and go four-handed wow it's basically a post flop coin flip Ten, seven, five, two diamonds. Turn is a five of hearts. Med can't watch. Massive river coming up. Yes, yes. It is an eight. Med has survived. Oh, <laughs> that was a sweaty one. It's never easy, is it, folks? Good game, Yildirim. All unlucky in the end. You will take home. Over 10k for your efforts. No, 8,600 euro. Four players remaining, all guaranteed a minimum. 10 grand, 10,900 euro playing now on the bubble for a 10 grand ticket to the World Series of Poker Europe main event. Yeah, 
Med will be delighted with that. Now it's squeaky bomb time with four remaining. Roman is all in from under the gun. I'm unsure what he has. Pocket fives for 14 big blinds. And he will take down the blinds and antis. Roman will scoop the blinds and antis with the ace six off suit. Rome going to shove from the button with 16 bigs. We'll take it down with Ace Jack.
Igor going to min raise on the button here, King nine off suit. <laughs> Med is getting very creative here with the 10 8 off suit. No need for this, Med. He ain't messing around. Three betting to nearly four million. Yevin, King Jack of Diamonds in the small, raises to 1.25 mil. Igor taking that one down. He's playing close to 20 million now. Igor in the small with Queen Six of Hearts. Jack 10 7 is the flop.
Igor raises on the button with ace four and Yevon in the big blind is gonna call. Five five three is the flop. This one favoring Igor. Make it straight with the deuce. Probably has the best hand a considerable portion of the time with the ace high. You wouldn't think Yevon would be defending with too much 3x or 5x in his hand. Yevon will let it go. Med raising to 1.2 million on the button with Queen 8 off suit and Roman is going to call in the big with Ace 5 suited. I would prefer for Roman to just rejam this one. Med going to get away with murder here on the King 7 deuce. This could have been avoided had Roman just rejam pre. Igor gets a walk. Garden small blind here with King Eight of Clubs, and this will be the last hand before a 15-minute break. Hope you're still sticking with us and enjoying the show at home.
Man, they're going to make it 5x here. Med is not letting Igor run all over him. He's had some weird choice of hands to do things with. Igor knows that Med most likely is up to no good in the neighborhood, but nothing Igor can do. So I like these I like this Med character. He came to get down. Right folks, I'm gonna see you in 15 minutes time. Still four players remaining. We are on the bubble. Stay tuned and I will see you all in a few moments. Eight of diamonds flashed. Sean Deeb snap mucking the Queen Eight. Timothy Adams gonna click call with the pocket yeah. fives. <laughs> he is flipping. Maybe this is what Chat, I will catch up with you after this hand. Some of the all ins and all in and calls. Five away. I mean it's being a pretty fast pace. From either yeah. being down to four. As a spectacle. There you go. Yeah. Don't give yeah, him all, but fun. don't fucking tell him. Perfect fun. Oh, wow. Like, I mean, I had naked sixes. Like, sixes? The worst. I mean, the way my range plays is like bot the worst pair. <laughs> and it's just like. Yeah. So they're going to deal the turn? I mean, it's just like a nasty spot. Sure. That was such a lot. Sweaty turn card. Oops. Open, looking for a six, eight, ten, or a king to eliminate Timothy Adams, and it's the king of hearts on the river. One of the best players in the world, Timothy Adams, fresh off of his 100k victory here just a couple of days ago, comes up short. Embrace it, event number 11, fifth place for 159,000 euros. What was your expectations? To win. I mean, that's what we play. A win. What do you want? Look back. Okay, sorry. Tony, Tony, why don't you learn smile when you fail? Yeah. You should learn smile while pain. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Show the river. Yeah, we can see the river. Thank you, thank you. He has two blue. You are good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, You need chips, you need chips. I need chips, yeah, for oh, scrap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not gonna push a win against you this time, yeah. If so I push, if I push, if no problem. Now, now, now. He will be in. Hey, then. And we're gonna wait for Leon. Yeah, you cannot mark his card, huh? Yeah, don't mark his card. Yeah, don't mark his card. Don't mark his card. Yeah. <laughs> Just now they don't want to mark his card. Do they did. Did. He said no. Leon! He's stupid. They want you play first? He won again. Apparently, he won a big problem. Easy game. Just with four. the four. He gets nothing. And I had he a four here. <laughs> flash draw, I'm flash draw. Incroyable. Four. There is a four on the. <laughs> <laughs> the multi-tabling is real. Draw against first draw at 40. Leo. 
just won a 400k pot with a pork, apparently just with a pair of pork. Bring the money here. Yeah, because flash draw, flash draw. They want million now, 400,000 pot. Flash draw, flash draw. I, I have the four on the flop and the four wings. Amazing. It's good to win with one pair in Omaha. Who do you win against? Against who? Tony G. Oh, Tony, thank you. Tony. Tony. Thank you, Tony. Tony. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> It looks like Tony! Tony! He's still. He will answer you. He's still in the lock. Tony! Tony! Thank you! <laughs> he's, he's so talented. <laughs> Thank you, Tony! Thank you, Tony! Thank you, Tony! <laughs> 400 K pop. Now you can. Leon! Leon! Take a break here, and then you go to the show. Yeah, show, show, show. How much? Seven four. Leon is easy gamer. I must call everything now. Sorry, race. Now I must call everything. And you need to win. Come on. I don't see it since 11 years. Let's <laughs> 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 drink. <laughs> For the free. Yes, For free to come. Three. Three. Free to come. Two times free. Come on. Free. King of Diamonds. I saw a king, I think. No. A picture. Guys, I saw a picture. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah, sorry. Now you know it's a picture and it's not a king. <laughs> I'm queen. Queen. Yeah, queen. So, guys, I saw a queen, okay? But. Yeah, but more. One button Seven more for Hossein, who has oh. now two buttons. One button more. Thank you. The drink. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Mmm. To finish? Oh, it's good. I told you, Chablis is a perfect wine. You can drink all night long. Yeah, that's right. Drink, drink, drink. No? It's not so strong. <laughs> it's keeping you win. on the fun <laughs> mode. What yeah. We wait for Leon. What, what yeah. brand is that? The liver. Chablis. 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 Chablis.
How much is bucks, guys? You pay them off. Hello. All in. Uh, uh, deal fast, please. All in, all in, all in. Have to look at it. All in, all in, all in, all in. Pot, 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 all in. Mm, very slow. Very slow. He has to make the decision. Pot. Conseil. Yeah. Not only he went all in, you must look. Conseil okay. went all in. You need to see your car. All Four. in. Paul. Paul. You don't want to see it? Paul. No, all in, 60K. Check. Yeah. 60K, all yeah. in. All in. Paul, Paul. Paul, Paul. Push. Oh, open, open. Give me it, give me it. Open, open, open. No, no you can't. You don't can't. open. Flash. Uh, oh, okay. You can look. You can look. I don't. Why oh, I just. You want to No, I don't know. He maybe a little bit, you know, try and. Uh, <laughs> no, maybe I just call. Maybe you have flash. If you have flash, three times the so nice, right? And here, please. Uh, the pot. One I don't know. Here yeah, for me. So there was 700 yeah, in the pot. Yeah, boy, take your match, my friend. Uh, so if it's one, two plus 700 is one. Oh, you wait, five more times, five more times. Uh, uh, yes, six thousand, six thousand. Yes, one, two plus 700. And four, this card is probably one, two. No, it must three, be more. No, there is one, two, four. Yeah, it must be more. 100, 200, 400. Well, must be. Two for a three, correct, 15. Oh, it's correct? OK, OK. Because I never played uh, so Omar. So it's not one nine. Leon, three, two, three, two. Three, that's four, four, plus three, four. Three, four. I ask if it's 600. Oh, you got three. I have to give you six hundred. Uh, you know, that's because you start two, though. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah, 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 Куда, куда ты бежишь? Нету этого. Тони уже там. Тони. А, он уже там. Тони, what's up? Thank you, Тони. Thank you, Тони. Do what, Charles? You have big chips behind you, though. What was your expectations? To win. I mean, that's what we fight. A win. But you want to look back. Uh, Okay, sorry. Tony, Tony, why don't you learn smile when you pain? Yeah. You should learn smile while pain. He's <laughs> trolling. I said you should learn smile while pain. He's too young. Too young. <laughs> yeah, he's like uh, he's like uh, 40 days younger than me. That's why he don't understand that. 40 days. <laughs>
Non, mais moi j'aimerais bien. C'est bon. Bon, on ne sait pas. Non, mais on ne peut pas le faire. Et quel étage aussi dans les arbres là Tu es taché. Good luck, guys. All right, folks, we are back. Four players still remaining. Small blind is 300k, big blind is 600k. With a 600k running big blind ante, that's 300, 600, 600. It really is squeaky bum time. You could cut the tension with a knife. The difference between fourth and third place is about 13,000 euro. And look at this med with two black jacks in the small blind. And he's just going to call this time. I think I prefer him to just straight up rip Igor's calling range. Probably like Queens Plus. No, he's facing two over cards. I think Igor can check or bet here. I prefer betting. You only have to bet like quarter pot. Bet like a fifty nine hundred. Goes for nine twenty five. Med folds. Oh, it looks like he's continued. I thought he folded. He's committed the chips, the turn is the six of hearts, with 5.6 million in the middle now. Seven Igor is going to fire a second barrel here to make a weak ace fold or a queen. Med just way better off re-jamming that one pre. But understandable taking the low variance route with what's at stake. Yeah, I haven't completed. 
in the small blind here with Queen Tree and Roman is going to check his option in the big blind with 10 7 with clubs. And players will be getting tired now, you know, it's past 4 a.m. at the King's Resort in Roswell. Roman flopping the joint here with a straight checks it back Yevon going to check a second time not liking this board I think Roman should start betting now one million seems like a good size sets up a river jam nicely bets 800 Yevon lets it go. Igor getting a walk. Igor limping in the small, completing with the 6-4 offsuit. Med with Queen Tree in the big. Med continuing to apply pressure to Igor. Look at the size of this. Make it a three and a half million overkill and Igor just can't do anything. Med now playing 14 mil, Igor 23. Igor with an ace on the button. He's got a bit gun shy, perhaps. Med getting the best of him in a couple occasions. He did take that one down, though, with the double barrel that got the jacks to fold, which was nice. Med just wants to be shoving. No reason to make it full 3x there. Just shove it all in. Put the maximum pressure on when his opponent only has about 12 bigs.
Roman shoves from the small with Queen Jack and Igor will be forced to release the eight deuce suited Ace is here. Put him in raise. Igor lets it go. And Med will take it down. Or Med will fall and Yevon will take it down. Red raising to 1.8 million with Ace Tree of Diamonds. Yevon with 10 9 off suit posturing. It's just going to be forced to let this go. But I would prefer for Med to just straight up jam off the stack depth, blind v blind. Igor Min raising all the way around to the big blind. Roman with King Jack of Diamonds. I'm going to see a flop here for 600k more, I think is the right play. Or just move all in. Actually, yeah, four-handed. This is going to play better as a rejam. Igor can't call that tight or that loose. So I take it back. Rejam is the superior play here.
no reason for Igor to muck this quickly when he's got all the chips. No harm in running down the clock a bit. Whoa. Igor's called. I am shocked. This is way, way too big of a call from Igor. This is tiredness, decision fatigue. A6 offsuit. Just going to play horrific here against the overall big blind rejamming range. Massive stutter step here from Igor. There's 15.6 million in this pot up for grabs. It's a 60 40. But that's trips for Igor. So what do I know? Ticket is basically secure. And that's really, really unfortunate for Roman. He should just take down the blinds and antis. And now Igor going to be playing 50 bigs. We are going to go three-handed. Really got a feel for Roman. Scudar there. He will take home 10,900 euro for his efforts. All three remaining players can rejoice. Guaranteed a minimum of 14,000 euro on the 10 grand ticket. 13.8 is the payout. Current payout. It's just shy of 14 grand. And you go out now with just under 60% of all the chips in play. Evan shoves with the Queen, Nine of Diamonds. Gets it through. Med with 6 3 off suit in the small. And Yevon getting a walk. And we are going to go on a short break for 10 minutes. I will see you all in a few moments. This one ain't over yet, but we will be crowning a champion. We'll be putting a ribbon on this thing.
Back in a few moments. All in from Kamenita, and Pansier is asking for a count. Really, really awful spot for him. You know, yeah. Bottom of range when our opponents could easily just, you know, 3x trashy hands like 8-3 and whatnot. I think you're absolutely right, Henry. I think we, uh, we want to be limping in there sometimes. Obviously, it is nice to just go ahead and rip and, you know, see what happens, let the cards fall where they may, but getting trappy is never a bad thing. Particularly with a hand like Queens, which doesn't need too much protection from over cards. As we see Panzier raising the 500,000 under the gun, comes with the mid open, and Mr. Wheeler, all the way from Chicago. Doesn't have the worst hand in the world to three bet fold. But we're gonna see a re-raise after he takes this time, but elects to just let it go. Oh, Mr. Wheeler. Super. I'm seeing a 22 big blind stack. See the pounce in the chat there for you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to hear my Jason Wheeler story? It's, you, it's your story, mate, yeah. I really? feel like I've built it up to something it's not. Oh, no. Is it another... Another one. Disappointing <laughs> Gary Blackwood story. Yes, it is. It's yes, kind, it of, is. kind of like your jokes. Your dad jokes. Oi, let me take that back. Right, so I think the year is 2018. I'm playing my first ever World Series of Poker main event. Oh, oh no. I think I missed oh. It's okay, yeah? I let it like this and fold. Wow. So, so Bilan has. Just set fire to 125k, didn't realize that it had been opened. Wow. Well, that's pretty, that's a pretty brutal live misclick. Yeah. Really need to stay dialed in in these spots, chat, pay attention. I mean, there's a lot going on. Would have flopped an open ender. What a weird spot. What will you play after w Below with 3.5. Behind 1.4 in the middle. Thinking of going to Amsterdam. Not like big, but it's going to be fun. Let's check through. Five of clubs on the turn, pairing the board. Bulu immediately reaching. Henry spoke about this earlier. He tends to act hella quickly. Comes out with a very quick stab here for 350,000 chippies. Yeah, big fan of this turn probe for quarter pot. And three and also same Not going to get the job done, though. Panzier correctly deciphering that this game is going to be good a lot of the time here makes a call but they're looking for a seven and eight or a nine to take the lead Panzi is staring him down six of hearts on the river bit of a disaster card if you're Boodaloo because now the ace x type hands a little more likely to call not going to slow him down gary as he goes b25 on the turn B50, thereabouts, on the river. Straight draws miss, flush draws miss. Panze with just ace high. One of the better ace highs to call with, though. Your opponent shouldn't be bluffing much ace X or king X. So you unblock those bluffs. You don't block too much value, mind you. You don't block ace six suited. You do block king six suited. 
You don't block King Five Sided. I was like, oh, this just happens all the time. These guys really focused. Every pot extremely important. Makes the call. That's cool, sir. Take a bow, not easy. Obviously, easy for us in the booth and at home, but out there, bright lights, cameras. Don't want to look like player, Yeah, two players away from a WSOP bracelet event final table. Stays dialed in and finds the correct call up to 10 million in chips. Now, the Frenchman, Crumbs. What did you think of Rosvedov Everhoof? Curious to hear your thoughts on this place how many likes have we got on youtube i hear you ask as we're gonna see a flop for the first time in a while 257 you guys are awesome my name is gary blackwood also known as gazzy b123 as we get a very interesting flop here, the Jack Deuce of Spades flopping the flushed off. Pansier flopping top pair. I don't see Pansier doing much checking here. Maybe he just check rips it. Who knows? Does elect like to check. Caminita with that flush draw and the overcard. Reasonable equity here for the Italian. He decides to knuckle it on back. Five of diamonds on the turn. No help to Caminita just yet, although he does pick up the gut shot. Four would give him a straight. A jack would give him top pair. A spade would give him a flush. 31% equity. Does Pansier start to fire now? Answer is yes. Lars de Monk says EPT Prague is soon. Yes, it is, my friend. Yes, it is. 2.4 million is the bet. Call from Kamenita. No help to him on the river. Panse with the best of it. 8.4 million in there. Kamenita with a pot sized bet left behind. Had to get an action flop. And then nine deuce versus Jack deuce hands. Kamenita didn't bluff the river earlier in this spot. When his king high flush draw missed, a lot less showdown value here with the jack deuce. All in from Kamenita and Pansier is asking for a count. Really, really awful spot for him with just second pair. Lots of draws missed though. Lots of hands like jack four, ten four, spades, chat. Do we think he's going to call it off? Type number one if you think he's going to call, two if he's going to fold. Get your answers in as soon as possible. One, if you think Pansier makes the call with a pair of nines. Two, if you think he folds. We've got deuce, deuce, deuce already. Bunch of ones. Wow. Answers coming in thick and fast. Plant the seed there are 2,982. Looks to be that the chat thinks a call is slightly more likely. All those missed draws as mentioned, but a bunch of two pairs... Bunch of straights that might play like this. Pansier with the big stack. He might want to preserve that stack. If he calls and loses, he's down to about 15 million. Less, actually. But on the other hand, guys and girls, if he calls and wins, he's got one hand on the bracelet. Should have gone all in on the turn with that hand. A little surprised they didn't get it in on the flop, to be honest with you. There's no obvious two pairs. I think there are some. 5-3, 6-3, 6-5, 9-5, King-3, King-6. It gets through, and he shows the bluff. Oh, my days. You love to see it. Kamenita instantly on his back. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs>
All right, folks, we are back. Three-handed action, which one of these players will take down the title and become the ZTO main event, No Limit Hold'em champion. Five four deuce is the flop. Made in the big. Betting one point two million. Checking from the small. Looks like Med is going to fire a second barrel here. That's 3.3 million. It is open ender. Now has a nine of spades for a flush draw. Seven and a half million in this pot now, getting quite bloated. Igor is just going to let it go. Tough spot there for Igor. Difference between third and second is from 13,800 euro to 19,300 euro. Med on the button now, 26 bigs. Blinds are still 300, 600, 600.
Igor lets it go with the jack five. Kevin been raising on the button with ace four. over a6 of diamonds here you haven't gonna call for an additional 650 with a seven off suit Up is ten ten four. Goes check check turn is the nine of diamonds. Turn goes check check. The river is the five of hearts. This one going to showdown. Both players hope hoping to win with the race height. Yevon out kicking Igor. Average stack is 17 mil. Yevon on the button here, 17 big blinds, ace, deuce, soft suit, and the decision. This is very tight from the ace, deuce. Could easily just min raise that one. We need to have some min raise folds, and having an ace in our hand seems like a good one to do it with. But it doesn't matter because he's got spidey senses. Igor calling in the small just completing 
Med just checking what is going on here. Where is the rest of this pot? Let's see what happens here. 984 is the flop. I think if we're Igor, we want to bet here. We've got backdoor straight draw. We go with our ace high. Backdoor flush draw. 700k is the bet. 700k is the call from Med. Glasses are off. Turn is the king of spades. Med just gonna win here a showdown. I think I might have fired a second time there if I was in Igor's shoes. We can get an eight to fold, we can get a four to fold. We can get some other hands to fold. We can get him to fold out some equity. And that is the name of the game. Denying our opponent equity. Med is going to give a walk to Key Evan with a king. I don't understand that. These boys are tired. They've locked up a lot of money. But they still want to win that title. Yevon is going to fold another ace on the button and once again a superior ace has appeared this time Igor with the ace 10 we could have easily seen that hand go all in pre by the way the ace 10 against the ace jack I think that goes without saying Igor raises the 2.1 million and Looks like Med's going to see a flop here with the 6-5 of diamonds. And Med's just going to shove on him on the 8 6 tree.
Ed raises the two million with the King Jack. Kevin folds. Kevin shoves on the button of pocket fours. Med forced to release the nine three. Igor on the button here, ace seven. Raised to one and a half million. Med in the small with king, nine of clubs. This could get interesting. Jack four deuce is the flop. Med gonna check his option here. A lot of equity with the king nine of clubs. Igor checks it back. I think betting and checking is totally fine. He's pot controlling. Med bet two million. Med will win this one with his pair of nines. Igor is just going to check back. Expected to see Med go for some tin value there on the river, but decided against it. I doubt there's too many of you still tuning in, but be sure to check us out on all the usual social media platforms. They are in the Twitch chat there. You can see them all. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. Give us a like, subscribe, and a follow. If you want to find out additional information about the resort, head over to the website www.kingsresort.com. And Yevon is all in from the small blind with ace five suited. Igor lets it go.
Igor is just going to call in the small with nine, six of clubs. Med checks his option. Flop is ace for seven, five. Igor bets. We'll take this one down. Med falls. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. The blinds are up. 400, 800, 800. Med with 31 bigs. Igor with 20. And Yevon, Yevon with 14. the button here with ace nine of spades nice starting hand three-handed and look at this Igor raises the two million med should shove from the small and this is going to be too strong of a hand for Igor just has to call it off here we go folks we've got a massive hand 34 million in the pot Igor with ace nine of spades 33 percent equity Med and his two red jacks with 67%. Igor needs to get lucky here or he will be eliminated in third place. Flop is 864. Turn is the five of diamonds. And that's a really bad card for Igor. Yes, yes, yes. River is the tree of hearts. Igor has been eliminated. Well played, sir. Good game. Unlucky in the end. Will take home 13,800 euro for his efforts. And a 10,000 euro ticket to the World Series of Poker main event. That means we are going to go heads up for the title. Both players guaranteed a minimum of 19,300 euro. Now Med with 53 bigs and Yevon with 12. Yevon will call with a 7 3 of diamonds. Ed will check his option with 8 4. Med will take it down, and Yevon now playing 10 bigs up against 54 bigs of Med. An uphill. 
battle to climb. Mate, going to shove this on. And Yevon going to call. Here we go. This could be it. Yevon either going to double up and get back in this heads up battle. Or Med, who's had all the momentum with this FT, is going to be your ZTO, Nolan Midhold and Big Rap champion. It's a set, 95% for Med. Looks like this is the last hand. Lean over until we see the turn card though. Turn is the seven, and now a five will give a chop. A five will make you get down now. River is the seven. Med has done it. He is going to be your champion. Commiserations to Yevon taking home 19,300 euro and a 10 grand ticket to the World Series of Poker Europe. Congratulations and commiserations. There is your champion, Med. He will take down the title 30,600 euro and a 10 grand ticket. Congratulations to everyone involved. I am going to say my goodbyes and going to get a good sleep before. We come back with 16 players in the PLO Big Rap final day tomorrow at half two. That's half two, 14.30 Central European time. Thanks for everyone that tuned in. Thanks to the moderators. I'm out. I've been Action Man Dan. Catch me if you can.